It's me, Penny, a.k.a. Murasaki Kuniko. Now, you might be wondering if you actually exist and are watching this. I'm still skeptical as to whether or not this will find an audience. But if there is anybody watching this, you might be wondering why I'm doing these video rants and making sure to introduce myself as Murasaki Kuniko. And that's because my queer porn aspirations are kind of important to me right now because they're part of a process of trying to rebuild my self-esteem after a long, ugly history. So, we get the ugly stuff out of the way first. I did stupid shit as a teenager and I got myself sent to juvie. While I was in juvie, I ended up being brutally gang-raped in the shower and then raped every night afterwards for over three months. You can imagine this had a significant effect on my personality and the rest of my life. And it's taken a long time to get to the point where I'm not having nightmares every night. But that's a part of it. Because the sense of broken worthlessness I felt after the rapes. And for a long time, and even now sometimes, I still believe that I deserved it somehow, but I had asked for it because of the things that I did to get in juvie, that it was karma. And for the most part, my brain knows that's bullshit, but my heart's harder to convince. But because of the uh, survivor worthlessness that I felt for a long time, I ended up in a six-year relationship with a woman who beat me and pimped me for drug money. And then I jumped straight from that relationship to an almost eight-year relationship with a woman who emotionally abused me, manipulated me, domineered me, and gaslighted me. For those of you who don't know what gaslighting means, it's a sp specific form of psychological abuse where you systematically undermine your partner's sense of reality. You make them doubt their own memories. You tell them, even though I knew this is what happened, this thing A over here A, she would say, no, 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 it was B. B is what happened. No, you're just imagining A. A never happened. It's B. And it went on like that. And <coughs> it's been just under a year since I got away from her, and I've been single in real life since then. I have beloveds online, but they're all online, long-distance relationships, very far away. Here in real life, I've been single for a while, and I've been using that time to try and rebuild myself. Because the bottom line is, yes, I'm fat, I'm intersexed, I'm a lesbian, I'm mouthy, I don't have a brain-to-mouth filter, I say what I think, I'm terminally honest, and it pisses people off. People are going to have a problem with the fat, people are going to have a problem with the gender, people are going to have a problem with whatever, and you can imagine the grief I get for it. And the sad thing is... <coughs> the sad thing is... I'm not terribly bothered by the fat jokes I get, because I've been on the internet since 1995. There is literally no such thing as a fat joke I haven't heard before. There is no troll on the internet capable of coming up with an original insult that might actually have an effect on me. I've heard them all so many times before they just bore me. But... It does tie into the em emotional abuse and the physical abuse, because both of my exes in this equation made sure to make me feel like I was fat and ugly and worthless and nobody would want me. Trolls on the internet saying I'm fat and, and worthless and ugly and nobody will want me, that doesn't matter to me, because I know they're wrong, because every day on the internet I get creepy guys hitting on me, wanting to fuck me or marry me, so... I know if I were straight, despite having the penis, I could snap my fingers and have a guy in five seconds flat. Except I don't want one. So, but, hearing it from the people that I lived with, that I loved, that affected me. And that's what's taking a while to deprogram. And I'm trying to learn how to listen, because I have friends all over the world, male and female, who are constantly reminding me that I am a beautiful person, inside and out. And I know I'm a good person inside, it's the outside that I'm having to, to convince myself. 
because I don't always believe it. I will admit, I think I have very lovely eyes and nice lips and God knows these are amazing. These are fucking amazing. And all natural. No silicone. Pity my spine, though. They're 48F. But I digress. It's taken me most of this past year to start building myself up. And part of that was why I started doing the queer porn, which is what I was originally trying to talk about here, and I got sidetracked. I want to do the queer porn modeling, not only as a way to help myself learn how to see the beauty in myself that other people see in me, and to see myself as sexy, to believe it, to be able to look at myself and see beauty. But I'm also hoping that other people who are like me, either women who are fat or men who are fat or people who are intersex or people who are lesbian or gay or whatever, anybody who's outside the lines, anybody who's not cookie cutter, anybody who f goes outside of what society deems as beautiful, like me. Society's beauty rules definitely don't fit me, but people find me beautiful anyway. And there are people that find me ugly. But the point of doing the queer porn is that I want people who, like me, fall outside the lines to be able to look at me, a fat, intersex lesbian, look at me being willing to show my tits and pose sexy and look and feel confident and beautiful, hold my head up high and say, I am beautiful. I am sexy, and God damn it, I'm fuckable. And I want people to look at that and say, if she can feel sexy, why can't I? If she can look at herself in the mirror and say, I'm beautiful, how come I can't? Well, there is no reason I can't. I can do it too. If she can do it, I can do it. And that's the long and the short of it. I'm doing it for two reasons. To teach myself that I'm beautiful, and to inspire other people like me to feel beautiful. And I think that's probably the best reason I could have to do queer porn. I don't know if I ever will get to do any scenes. I'm still really insecure about showing my tummy jiggling on camera, naked, while I'm fucking somebody. And. I've promised my first scene to one of my long-distance loves anyway. Hi, Ella. But, um... It doesn't matter if that never happens. If I only ever do modeling pictures by myself, that too is perfectly fine for me. If I can inspire even just one person to look at me being beautiful on film, in pictures, and say to themselves, you know what, I can be beautiful too. I can feel beautiful too. I'll feel like I've accomplished something with it. 